Hey guys, I got a special edition of the Two Minute Drill. It's your boy from the Weekly Rebound, Greg Horn here. And I mean, perfect place to start with my guys, Flynn. You got Matt Sear over to Tyler Japs. Back to Matt Sear from Dom Migliaro. And that is the Flint team we see. LG, are they calling? Greg Daniels here with a beautiful pass to an MVP leading candidate, Devon Pratt, who actually led the team with 16 and 6. Jason Hernandez here talking his shit, yapping his mouth. That's what we love to see. Mike Davis with the saucy grandmother, Italian grandmother, meatballs, marinara, saucy moves from Mike Davis right there. Mike Bazzuto over to Mike Drawn, and this is what we've come to see from this Flint team, sharing the basketball, unselfish, smart shots. Look at Dom Miglero, the assist leader. Dom to Nick Japs, bang, bang on them, young man. And this is what we saw from Flint. They were in their bag all night. Shocker City had no answer for them, and a big win for the Flint. Tropics. Moving on to run TMC, the Chasers. The Chasers had a hell of a game, but it wasn't going to be enough as Tyler Feldman with a beautiful finish. They look like a baby shack. Larry Littles with a great pass over here to Brendan Seabrook. And Brendan Seabrook's going to bing! Money in a bank. Look like a young Steph Curry. And that's how this Chasers team needed to compete tonight. They were hitting threes. You see an N1 here. Don Langston was in his bag with 36. And he was a man amongst boys, but it wasn't enough to stop this man. I call him Mr. Box Office. He's a better runner. Russell Westbrook. This man is filthy, and Reggie Stewart did his thing with 45, 14, and 8. He was unstoppable. You see him here try to win the game. Close, but no cigar. A beautiful chance, and I'm sure he hits it next time. Eric Singleton here missing, but he had a phenomenal outing. He continues to be one of the most underappreciated players in this league. Congratulations for him to hitting 1,000, but Reggie Stewart was there, right there with the nail in the coffin, and Reggie Stewart was too much. Sports look right here. You know, we got Nick Baccarella and Brian Acevedo. This sports look team, man, they are coming and they are surprising everyone. Dan Corcoros led the team with 36, but as you can see, DJ Foster and Destin Simmons right here, 74 points combined on the night, but it wasn't enough as Brian Acevedo was banging them like John Gotti or Al Capone did back in Chicago. And that was enough for sports look shorthanded to take a big win. And now we're at the last game. We got my boys, the JJ Watts, Nick Strong, and Rim Breakers, and Pooch. Struggled in this one, but Jared McLeese and Carl Fairfax did their thing. You're going to see Carl Fairfax here with a beautiful buzzer beater. Carl Fairfax is hot lately, averaging 10 and 6 these last three games, and he is huge for this Rim Breakers team going forward. But as you can see here, the Vesecchio brothers banging from long range. They are the Steph Curry, J.J. Watt. They can hit from anywhere. Don't sleep on Nick Strong. They play everyone tough. But it was just too much Richard Bronson who led the team with 21, 5, and 6. And, and he continues to be a leader for this Rim Breakers team as they surge to a championship push. Thank you, guys. I hope to see you next week. God bless.